spring is right around the corner, so you might be feeling inspired to put away your winter coat and your dirty winter boots and start wearing some spring clothing. In the first part of this video, I'll be going over some of the trends that I've noticed from online fashion retailers. And in the second part of the video, I'll be showing you how I'm incorporating these spring trends into my own personal style. Okay, so first up are colors. So I've been seeing a lot of traditional spring colors, luckily, because I already have a lot of these colors in my wardrobe. So I've been seeing light yellows, light pinks, light blues, all of those colors that I associate with Easter eggs and flowers. I've also been seeing a lot of bright orange, and that's one of the colors that I'm hoping to incorporate into my wardrobe if I, if I find the chance. For prints, I'm seeing a lot of floral prints, of course, for spring, that makes sense. Um, but the patterns are overall pretty dainty and very small in scale, so no overwhelmingly large floral prints. Next, I'm going to move on to different garment elements and specific uh, items of clothing that I see will probably be popular this spring. The first one is one of my favorites, and it's a Victorian vibe. Now, this is the aesthetic that I generally try to aspire towards, kind of modern Victorian. I see this as puff sleeves, white, white linen, white lace, um, high necklines, ruffles, and overall lots of detail in buttons or the lace like I mentioned. My favorite way to style a very feminine piece like a ruffled blouse would be to play with opposites. So if I have a more feminine top, I like to do a more structured bottom or maybe a leather jacket, something that kind of plays with the balance of hard and soft. Okay, next up are cardigans and specifically puff sleeve cardigans or oversized baggy loose cardigans. I'm especially seeing cardigans over little knitted camisoles or bralettes. Cardigans are also quite practical because spring can be a little bit on the chilly side still, especially if you're on the east coast or maybe northern California like me. And so cardigans provide an extra layer of warmth while still being thin enough to layer a coat over the top if you still need to. The next trend I'm seeing is linen. Now I have a lot of linen already in my wardrobe and it's perfect for spring and summer and I think it's just one of the most versatile fabrics you can have. For me, linen is very easy to layer and I like to pair my linen fabrics with silkier fabrics or knits and by doing that I can create a lot of textures in my outfit and that provides a lot of visual interest. The last trend I'll be talking about today are jumpsuits. Now jumpsuits are not the most practical for me, however I do own one or two because they just look so cool. There's nothing better than not having to think about what to put on that day, just put on a jumpsuit and it's already a top and a bottom. The jumpsuits I've been seeing are uh, a lot of military inspired and also that Victorian inspired with with puffy sleeves and maybe lace details and floral prints. Next up, I'll be showing you the outfits I came up with based on these five spring trends. The first one, I'm combining linen pants with a floral knit sweater. So this is kind of like three trends in one. I've got white linen pants and a cozy oversized knit in a beautiful floral print. I just love the way the two textures of these fabrics come together. I styled this outfit with a purse by Belle in Blue and my by far boots, which I absolutely love for spring. One easy thing that I like to do for spring that kind of lightens up your wardrobe is just to replace anything that you've been wearing in black with brown. So instead of black and white, which I wear a lot in the winter time, I'll just wear brown and white. In this next outfit, I'm pairing a very Victorian-inspired blouse by Doen. It's very light cotton, and the details on this are incredible. There's lace and buttons up near the neckline, and it's got a bit of a puff sleeve. I love to style this uh, more feminine top with a structured bottom, so I've got my Jessie Cam Ranger pants on in the color Salt, so a stark white. I really like with this blue top. 
Next up is this amazing pink jumpsuit. It has beautiful detailed pearlized buttons down the front which is kind of falling in line with that Victorian vibe I was talking about earlier. This jumpsuit also happens to have pockets, which is a huge bonus in my book. I styled this with an oversized chunky cardigan, which I've been wearing a lot this year. Next up, I'm wearing a floral skirt by Free People. I think I got it on Revolve. And I love this skirt for spring because not only does it have a floral pattern, but it's also got yellow in there. And it's pretty unique. Since the skirt is pretty busy, I kept it simpler up top with this white shirt. This one's from Joa Brown and it's super comfortable. I've even slept in it before. <laughs> and since this outfit is looking very soft and floral right now, I wanted to kind of harden it up with a leather jacket and this one's from All Saints. Next up is one of my favorite um, midi dresses. It's from Reformation and it's made out of linen and this is one of my favorite silhouettes, an A-line dress. Just so classic and I don't think it'll ever go out of style. Here I'm pairing it with a brown cardigan and brown boots and my brown purse, so brown and white again. I just love the shoulders on this cardigan and the knitted pattern is very intricate. Next I'm selling this midi dress with a cashmere pink sweater. This one's from Everlane and it's quite old but I just love pairing pastel colors with white. I think that's just a perfect look for spring. In my next outfit, I'm wearing a light blue cami with a linen gauze skirt. So again, I'm pairing a pastel color with white and I just love that combo. Light blue also looks really good on my skin tone, at least I like to think so. <laughs> this skirt is very flowy and airy and it's gonna take me straight into summer. This tank is really easy to layer over. I could, I could literally put any jacket over this and it would look good. My light leather jacket, which I showed earlier, maybe a white linen blazer, a white cardigan. In this next outfit, I'm restyling this lovely linen blue midi dress from Reformation, which I showed you in another one of my videos. Here I'm pairing it with a very light navy sweater with a beautiful lace detailed back. And that's it for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day and see you next time. Bye!